Hi, my name is Michael, but you already know that. Who you don't know and what you don't know is a guy called Mike Waywell. I'm going to be taking you to a bit of a field trip today. We're going to go and see Mike, see his business, um, because he is a great coach, a great strength trainer and phenomenal businessman. So I would like you to meet Mike. Let's go. apparently his car. Look at, look at this size of you. Look at you should be like, I should be like there. You should be like there. I think that's how it should be. Oh well, the same size as you. Yes, nearly the same size. Right. Um, hello. Hello. Uh, we are obviously here at his gym, which is phenomenal. We're just going to look around in a minute so you will see as well. But probably the first and most important question to you is, why do we work out? What's the why? 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 Why do we want to? Why do we have to work out? Uh, generally, it's just people want to look better. That's, yeah, that's generally the answer. Even for even for athletes. So like, I've been an athlete myself, trained mm. Mm. and coached athletes, mm. and there's still always that aspect of wanting to look better. And then mm. mainly that is because they want to feel better in some way. So. But sort of in general, if people are going to come and, and sort of start training in the gym, is just is the, the only reason why they want to train is 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 they want to look better? Is that the usual the reason? Them? Is look better, feel better. Okay, that's that's pretty much that's where it always comes down to, like mm. the deeper reason. People give uh, more like <laughs> surface level reasons uh -huh. of, you know, I want to lose ten pounds or I want to mm -hmm. gain this amount of muscle. But then if you dig, like, if you keep asking mm -hmm. why, and you go, well, why do you want to lose that amount of mm -hmm. muscle? Why do you want to gain, uh, why do you want to lose 10 mm -hmm. pounds? Why do you want to gain that mm -hmm. amount of muscle, I meant to say? Um, then it always comes to a deeper reason of, yeah, well, I want to, I want to be bigger. It's like, well, why do you want to be bigger? Yeah. So I can feel more confident. All right. So then it's a feeling. Okay. It okay. comes back to that. Is that, is that the reason why you train as well? Definitely, like <laughs> like I said before, it, it does have a big part to play in it. Mm. When I first started getting into like weightlifting and mm. um, strength training and stuff, it was mainly because I was playing rugby mm. and like I felt like I was too small, I wasn't strong enough because mm. mm. I was always naturally a really skinny mm. kid and like still I'm naturally that if I stop training, I lose <laughs> size super quick. Um, He's not skinny. <laughs> but I like to feel, I like to feel good, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. When I go on holiday, I've just mm. been to Ibiza, mm. train hard because mm. you want to look good. Mm. And you're just like True. in your swim shorts on holiday kind of thing. So this is our quick guide to how to use your phone in the gym. <laughs> just don't. You you had this gym open for how long? Three years? Four years now. Four years? Yeah. But not in the same location? No. We've moved, well, we've expanded four times. Mm -hmm. We've moved twice. Okay. So I think you first came to our... Second, second gym yes which was just like a knock through correct i was literally joining one. you after you like weeks after you knocked through that first yeah. one i remember so that gym was all right a bit rough around the edges the next one the next one was like double the size of that on the same industrial yes. estate yes i remember that and that was again a little bit better mm -hmm. still a bit bit rough around the edges mm -hmm. and then here we've moved again it's like double the size again and again it's a much much better facility and improving it all the time because you know when we first started the warehouse gyms were like few and far between we were mm. probably one of the first mm. maybe four or five warehouse independent style gyms that opened in the city and now there's you know 30 maybe 40 of them. you kidding there's me there's in Liverpool low, yeah there's lots and lots and there's, wow. there's probably like five to eight that you that you know of mm. Mm. but there's lots there's of other lots ones of yeah that people don't know um, and then you've got like martial arts gyms and boxing mm. gyms we've started adding strength and conditioning areas so we've just tried to like continue to improve and elevate ourselves out of from like the warehouse style to being more we're aiming more towards like a boutique style gym like the same kind of nice. we want that warehouse feel like we've got we want it to mm. like all the black and brickwork mm. and mm. steel and all that kind of stuff smart you know we don't charge pennies to train here so it should feel that True. way as well so. True. okay so if you were to do one exercise maybe not for the rest of your life but something that you would <laughs> want to do um, that gives you the the biggest um, sort of you know advancement in terms of you know time to no. Time to exercise versus the, the benefits of it. What would that be? 
Um, so for, for upper body, because I don't have my weightlifting shoes on. <laughs> Uh, pull ups and dips. So you, like two, dips. two. What if someone cannot do a dip? Like I cannot do a dip. What would you say instead? Uh, like is it like assisted dip okay as well, or something like that? Something like that? Something like that? You can do like, like narrow, assisted pull ups as well. Narrow grip press ups. You can do assisted dips if you've got bands and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, I'd say pull ups and dips. Obviously, there's stuff like bench press mm -hmm. and all those kind yeah, of things yeah. that are really useful. But pretty much anyone can get the facilities to do a pull up or a dip. Right. Big Can chest and arms. <laughs> <laughs> Chin ups is underhand, pull ups is overhand. Ideally, you want to work up to being able to do a wider grip pull up. You're going to pull up until your chin's just above the bar. Lower yourself back down slowly. You, you make it look as pull if. Pull up, chin above the bar. <laughs> <laughs> as if you don't weigh anything. That's unfair. That's the same. If you can't do it like that, you can do, there's a band you can see behind you. You can attach the band here, give you a little bit of assistance, or um, you can start where you start up here and you're just doing an eccentric pull up, so just lowering yourself down. I know, Mike, you've done these before. I, I'm, I'm, that's the only one I can do, so yes. So you can start in like a box, like something like this here, and uh, just start with your chin above the bar and just lower yourself down. The second one's good and just lowering down and press straight back up. And again, too easy. <laughs> That's it. And if you can't do those, then like a narrow grip, close grip push up is like a good alternative, like a body, good body weight alternative for sure. How are you going to develop steel? Where are you going to take it? What, what are you going to see next 12 months from steel? Yeah. Um, Yes. Uh, well, you know, we've grown pretty quick I, since yes. we started. So, like, considering we've only been open four years, we've got a good sized facility, yeah. we've got an awesome team, and mm. especially in the last year or so, we've really like streamlined things. So, we, mm. on the outside, you know, we've progressed fast, but in the last 12 months, on the the inside stuff like with the team we've progressed even quicker where we're so much more efficient we're getting like yeah, the same the content yeah, yeah. you're getting the, the same or much mm. greater output for mm. a lot less effort so mm. that's been a big shift for mm. us um but going forward we've got a few things really we're gonna build a second floor up in here up in here up in here that's okay. something we're aiming for um probably start construction that around christmas time is, is the aim okay um so that'll obviously give us some more space. At the minute we do mainly like larger group training. Mm -hmm. So we call it customized group training. Mm -hmm. So everyone's on a program mm -hmm. that's customized to their goal. Um, and then we're gonna, in, on the second floor, we're gonna have like sem what, what would be called semi-private training. So like small groups mm -hmm. in like groups of one coach, four people and completely personalized programming. Wow, okay. Completely personalized. And that's still here, that's still that's in still this. still be here, just be up on the second floor. Okay. Um, like you can see behind us there where the white line is, so it can okay. be along there. Okay. Steel Habitat um, Nutrition, so mm, we've, just, yes. we've just got a, a manufacturer all signed up um, to make our own supplements. So we're, we're going, just starting off with, with three simple things. Mm -hmm. We're having a, a natural whey mm -hmm. isolate, mm -hmm. natural vegan mm -hmm. uh, protein, and a super greens drink. So we're just gonna start off just selling that here at the gym, just for members and okay. that kind of stuff. And then we'll see how that goes, if, if that. So is that the goal, sort of not to sell it online or Amazon or anything like that, just not sell initially. it to people who, who, who you know and who know you? Yeah, so. initially just, just sell it in the gym from the, you know, the front shop mm -hmm. and reception. Mm -hmm. so, uh, all of our programs are based around like strength training. That's the background I come from, from sport and stuff like that. So regardless of what your goal is we test you on strength that's one of the things that we focus on if you're not interested in doing that like don't train here so <laughs> that's what we test people on bench press squat deadlifts we do a three rep max for each so the most weight you can lift three times and we test that every eight weeks so when we're programming people everyone's working through like an eight week block and every eight weeks we test see where you're getting up to then we have our personal best bell that people ring um, so when they get a PB, they ring the bell, everyone cheers. And then we have like a strength grading system as well. Um, kind of like jujitsu, judo, karate, um, from white belt all the way to black belt, but it's a wristband instead. Um, depending on what scores you get for your strength uh, training or your three rep max scores, depends on which band you're on basically. So that's what we have that.
You can follow Mike and Steel Habitat on Instagram, steelhabitat.co.uk. Thank you so much for watching.